everyone. I am Nanjin B. Thukchamba Wangkaya School. I am going to speak on the topic HIV AIDS. There is a saying by Elizabeth Taylor, It is bad enough that people are dying of AIDS, but no one should die of ignorance. So coming to the point, what is HIV? The HIV is human immunodeficiency virus. It destroys the human immunity system. This virus causes AIDS, that is your acquired immunodeficiency syndrome. The person who is affected by HIV then becomes the carrier of them and infects the other patient. This communicable disease is sexually transmitted, the other way is through body fluid and infected serine. A person who has been tested positive for HIV, that is infected by human immunodeficiency virus, mostly start taking steps towards treatment. Although there is nothing that will cure of the infection as of yet, current reports show that with an early diagnosis and proper treatment, the infected can live almost normal life with nearly normal life expectancy. There are many misconceptions regarding age throughout the most civilized societies. The prevalence of meat is most common in underdeveloped demographics. To debunk those myths, it is important to keep in mind that casual contact like handshaking, hugging, etc. doesn't spread age. There is no permanent cure yet for treating HIV AIDS, so it is our responsibility to look, to look out for ourselves from being infected is by getting vaccinated. It is important to get in your adult lab if you have multiple sexual partners and also get your partner tested for the same. Do check for sterilized needles in case if you decided to get tattoo or injected. The most effective treatment of HIV is ART, that is your antiretroviral therapy. This is a combination of several medicines that aims to control the amount of virus in our body. Antiretroviral medicines slow the rate of virus at which the virus grows. Though it is a disease which cannot be eradicated or cured from our society, the only solution to AIDS lies in its prevention and awareness. We must have our regular and periodic health checkup so that we don't fall prey to such deadly disease. We must educate and encourage others to do the same. The only way to fight AIDS is through creating awareness. Thank you. Hello everyone. My name is Jin Wan Kim. Today I would like to talk about HIV. The full form of HIV is Human Immunodeficiency Virus. There are two types of HIV, HIV-1 and HIV-2. There can be both HIV-1 and HIV-2 co-infection, but in India it is mostly HIV-1. HIV is spread by four major roads: one, unprotected sex, and two, IDU, injecting drugs user by sharing of needles; and three, mother-to-child transmission; and four, transfusion of contaminated blood. HIV-infected individual will develop AIDS if they did not receive treatment with ART drugs. Any infected HIV individual usually develop AIDS by three years without ART drugs. AIDS stands for Acquired Immune Deficiency Syndrome, condition caused by HIV when there is serious damage to immune system. These days, because of good ART drugs provided free of cost by NACO, HIV infection, which used to be a virtual death sentence, in the past is now a chronic manageable disease like hypertension and even better prognosis than diabetes. In the Spectator, 19th April 2014 edition, Max Pemberton, a British doctor and journalist, quoted that, As a doctor, I would rather have HIV than diabetes. This is because with the advancement of ART drugs, there is significant improvement in the quality of life. ART drugs also increase longevity and reduce frequency of opportunistic infections. ART drugs also reduce the viral load count even to less than 50 copies per milliliter of blood. So, an HIV-infected individual will not transmit the disease to others if they are on ART drugs. Hence, I requested everyone to know your status that is positive or negative and if positive then please take ART drugs. HIV testing is available freely at ICTC Center in government setting, free of cost and your confidentiality will be maintained. And lastly but not the least, I want to talk about prevention as we all know that prevention is better than cure. 
The preventive measures are as follows. 1. Condom use and 2. Screening of all pregnant women for EMTCT, that is, elimination of mother-to-child transmission and to refer any infected pregnant woman to PPT CT Center. My name is Jehila Palma. I'm studying in class 9 in Trinity Public School and I'm here to talk about HIV awareness. As we all know that, HIV stands for Human Immunodeficiency Virus. It is a virus that causes AIDS. HIV is not like other viruses. It destroys the human immunity system. HIV discovers and destroys a form of WBC that is white blood cells, T cells or CD4 cells which the immune system must have to fight diseases. AIDS stands for Acute Immunodeficiency Syndrome and it is the final phase of HIV infection. Possibly, it can take many years to a person infected from HIV to enter this stage of infection. The person who is infected by HIV then becomes a carrier of the virus and infects others too. This communicable diseases is either sexually transmitted, bodily fluids, used serine or blood transfusion. Another way of transmission is prenatal transmission. This implies that an HIV-infected mother can easily pass the virus to her child during pregnancy, breastfeeding, or even during the delivery of the baby. This disease has spread so fastly throughout the world, especially in the poor and developing nations, that it has posed a serious threat against the very existence of humans. There is no permanent cure yet for treating HIV, so it is our responsibility to look for ourselves. Few preventive precautions one should take up are Lessen the use of alcohol and drug Do check for sterilized needles in case you get injected Do not share razor blades for shaving Do not share toothbrush or other personal hygiene items that are not disposed of after use Life of an individual becomes hard after being tested positive for HIV. We have to instill the hope and belief among them through our love, care, and support that the HIV patient can still live a long and healthy life. We should not stigmatize those who are already infected. Instead, we should treat them as a regular people. Though this disease cannot be cured or eradicated from society, the only solution lies in its prevention and awareness. We must break the tradition and conversation about sex should be open. It is high time that we informed among ourselves about the spread of this disease so that we stop the loss of lives. We must create awareness among the people so that we can effectively fight against HIV. Thank you.